You're, you're just riding off the wave now anyway, Walter. Yeah, I am. I am. I totally am. I'm going to do a Terrence Crawford and Errol Spencer video thing because it's part of my interest. Like any boxing related to me, it got it got popular. Um, a lot of topics I do talk about aren't entirely mainstream though. The way it is, I'm really tired. I'm going to go sleep sleep. Wake up again. Um, yeah, I think Terrence is going to win. It's way quick. I'll break it out more in the video. But Terrence has a very slick defense, very, very good. Selective of counter punching, very good selective. Um, even when he's pressure, um, he's pressuring his opponents, he has very, very good um, pressuring. He just goes, whoosh, whoosh. he really tries to fight that punch. He only, not only like, I think he might be power pound number two after if he beats Errol, he's in power pound number two. If not, then he, he, he goes way down. And if he goes to the draw, then I think that changes. But um, Errol is right now number six, power for pound. I think we go through the Right here. I'm gonna go in the video soon. Actually, I'll, I'll just do it right now. Like, fuck it, bro. I'll crop up this video and make it make it the Terrence versus Crawford video. But yeah, this is the pound for pound list. I just spawned the entire thing. Pound for pound list. The zone's quick with it. I like. That's why I like the zone. Four minutes read. Four minutes read. Anyway, yeah. Two pound pound reads. Oh, they what did they what did they count? Overall record, quality of opposition. Quality of wins, activity. Number one is New York anyway. It would have been um oh no anyway can only really fight Floyd Miller at this fucking point, it's crazy. But yeah. Yeah, no anyway, I agree with this. Number two is Alexander Usyk down one spot. I agree with this, but um I don't know, Alexander Usyk is like a methodical is that is that berserk? No. I'm bugging. Um Alexander Usyk is more like a methodical breaking down type of guy boxer. Like he likes to psychologically and physically break down his opponents. Like with AJ, it was quite unfortunate. See, I really like AJ. Um, I really wanted to see in in their prime. I was talking to a really good friend of mine about this, but yeah, I would I would really like to see when AJ had um when Deontay Wilder. Uh, when Deontay Wilder had the WBC belt. And right here, and um, I really wish this version of Deontay Wilder uh, fought Anthony Joshua. Damn, why are you so happy there? I, he is pretty much prime. I know Anthony Joshua, like the way he's going, he's going about is really sad. Like he was saying it before, like. Um, He's 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 worried that he might be out of his prime. And I was like, oh. He's like, there's not much you can really learn after you get to my stage. Yeah, which is effectively the tip top WBO, WBA, WB, IBO. What what the what title is this again? Okay, I'm a dumbass, but we we don't we don't we don't we're gonna go to the times. It looks clean with the belts. Ooh, only one missing. WBC, ah, only one missing, bro. Oh my god, dude. IBF, I agree. I just see number one. Number one is the IBF belt. Yeah, the so WBA, WBO, IBO, and IBF belts. Just the WBC, and maybe the WBF belt. That's pretty much it. I don't know if that's an actual robot. And this is the interim belt champion WBC. I wonder what I, I, I was like so confused on what this belt was, but um yeah, it's WBC in the ring magazine. Classic belt. Looks good. W. W Anthony Joshua. I look at Eddie Hearn, bro. Yeah, it, I really wish these two juggernauts would have fought at their prime, I can't believe. That would have been a good fight. I think they still should fight, but um, it's not going to happen anytime soon. It's one of those things that that people talk about and they, they say, yeah. I think Anthony Joshua's down and Deontay Wilder is down as well. But like the communications and the contracts and there's something something always is wrong and something always breaks down. And yeah, it's just it's so annoying. But that would have been a good fight. Anyways, with the Terence Crawford and Errol Spence Junior fight coming up, I think 
Spence would do extremely well, of course. He's a very slick boxer, very good power puncher, everything. But like I think Terence just has more skill set, more skills within his skill set. And it might change. I might be fucking wrong, bro. Like everyone is saying Spence gonna win, Spence is gonna win, Spence is gonna win. But like I, I might be wrong saying Terence is gonna win. But I don't know. I, I genuinely think Terence Crawford is gonna win that fight. Um, yeah. What does these pros predict? Many reasons why he thinks his pick will dominate Crawford. He said that Terence may have a versatile skill set, but Spence is just bigger and stronger than him, and that's not something to underestimate in a boxing match. Errol's high work rate is also a factor that'll make things difficult for Bud, as he'll have to up his pace a lot while also maintaining top shape. Then there's the age matter. Seeing as Crawford is three years older than Spence, both of them are aging out of their prime and need to be extra careful about cardio and weight regulations. If the match potentially reaches the 12 round mark, it could be pretty difficult for Terrence to dodge Errol's leg attacks since the man's simply not young enough to withstand that. Plus, his opponents at 147 have been all regular names. The most impressive being Porter or Garcia. So that's something that, that puts his credibility to the test. Algieri didn't leave out Spence's injury. No. Both. Okay, you're, you're ignoring Cal Brook here. And Cal Brook, Prince, even Prince Nassim Mohammed was, um, um, was really, really highlighting. And yeah, Cal Brook is a legitimate opposition. We have the box right right here. We can see the record of thing. Sean Porter, obviously, very big win. Amir Khan, big win. Jose Benavidez Jr. big win. He knocked out uh, Jose Benavidez Jr. Somewhere down the line, you can see um Cal Brooks as well. I'm sure it is. Where the hell? Because Cal Brooks for both. Yeah, Cal Brook, big win. Come on, man. He lost two rounds on the scorecard. This is a scorecard, correct? I'm not sure. <laughs> what the match, bro? Forty and three. We need a record. Um, the special one, special K. All the specials. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. I think I know where this gym goes. Where this guy, uh, gym this guy goes to. Ain't no way. Um. Yeah, just interesting. It's very interesting. Sean Porter, there's a lot, Sean Porter's lost, it was kind of sad, because you can see Sean Porter punching the ground and everything, it's, um, it's quite unfortunate. Four losses, it hurts. Very good record though, 30 and 4, 31 and 4, uh, it's tough, it happens bro. GG. <laughs> I'll take the rest of this. Um, yeah, when it comes to amateur record as well, um, Spence has a, a much bigger amateur record than uh, Crawford, Spence has like a 262. Uh, wins and 12 losses amateur record and Spence has like a 56 and wins and 12 losses amateur record so it's incredibly incredibly different um yeah the truth it's a it's a quite a it's quite a lot uh both of them want, have wins over Cal Brook both of them have wins over Sean Porter Danny Garcia as well a lot of good guys in the division um I think they do deserve their spots in top 10 top of the power. But um, I think Crawford is just barely going to scrape by him. This, might, this, this is going to be a 40 and 0 Crawford coming out of this. Definitely. 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 Trust me, Daddy. Pause. Though, saying that while he had the better competition, Terrence wasn't the one with two car accidents and a torn retina, so there are a lot of situations to consider. That's very unfortunate as well. That might cost him the fight. I know what it's like going into a fight blind. Look at me, my dumb, my dumb, my dumb ass has glasses. I was born with glasses. So fucking annoying. But, uh. He's still pro Spence, though he is open to changing his bets later on as the fight gets nearer. To his credit, Spence is completely confident in his abilities to take down his opponent, saying that he'll break him physically and mentally. He has glasses too? Sheesh. Those Damn. are some bold claims to make against a fighter who's being favored over you, even if it is just a slight edge. But he said a lot more on the kickoff press conference for the July 29th showdown, especially about his opponent's mentality, about how he's definitely going to fight and make it a great show for the crowd.
Spence does feel like he's the superior fighter, though, and even mentioned how most fighters were just too light in the ass for him. Comparing Crawford to Danny Garcia, the truth said that both were great fighters, with Terrence being faster and quicker, and Garcia being the best counterpuncher in the world. Errol has a long history of facing off against some of the best counterpunchers in the game, so that shouldn't be too big of a problem for him when it comes to Crawford. And he's pretty aware of the impact of this fight, too, claiming that that it will be legacy defining for both of them and that if Definitely. it didn't happen it would have been a dent in their legacies the boxer even said that this is the type of fight people will be talking about for 20 to 30 years to come and that the next two generations <coughs> you know what reminds me of <coughs> a bit of a sugar ray leonard and tommy hearns um crawford he reminds me of tommy hearns and spence reminds me of sugar ray leonard even though you know He's not as tall as Tommy Hearns, and he's not as short as Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, they're quite evenly heightened. He's a bit taller, actually. I know it's um, it will be a good rivalry, a rivalry, and it will be a probably good fight. I think Crawford might edge out the win. If not, it might go to split decision. Maybe Spence. Maybe. It's a 50-50 fight, bro. Like it's hard to say like who's gonna win. It genuinely is hard to say. But if you go on off pure KO TKO record alone. Terence has much better KO TKO, TKO um, record. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just, what does he? Sorry, does. Okay, let's look. He's got thirty KOs, and Errol Spence has twenty-two KOs. Yeah, better KO record. We have more fights as well, so. I, I think he'll keep up. I think he'll catch up with uh, KOs. If 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 his case stays on the same streak, if he's if he's thirty two, you'll have thirty. Yeah, my my brain lagging. If he has thirty six wins, he'll he'll get thirty KOs. So he'll be ahead of. What what does that mean? What is KO percentage? Does it not say here? Box um, amateur. About seventy seven. All points, uh, points wins. This is box amateur round seven seven. I thought I thought more though. Thirty six. Why do they have that many wins? What's going on here? What's going on here? Nebraska, Texas, Long Island. Interesting. It was number one in two of five. That's crazy. Jamal James. Why does it sound so familiar? Adrian Borner. How is Adrian Borner still here? Lost to Manny Pacquiao, lost to Mikey Garcia, lost to Sean Porter, lost to Marcos Maidana. That's tough. He's 16th, which is crazy. Adrian, the problem, Borner. I wish he, he is coming back though, is he not? 2023 to 96 for Bill Hutchinson. One star fight? Interesting. Yeah, wow. I, I didn't know this, but um, I'll watch it on YouTube later. Yeah, I think Terrence is going to win. Apologize for the scuff video. And I'll see you around next time. Catch you later. Catch you later. Peace.